Endymion Porter Wilkinson is a diplomat, sinologist, historian of China, and authority on East Asian affairs. He served in Beijing as the European Union Ambassador to China and Mongolia from 1994 to 2001. In 2013 he published Chinese History, a new manual, an authoritative and often witty guide to sinology in Chinese history for which he was awarded the Prix Stanislas Julian for 2014. A new edition appeared in 2015. Education Wilkinson was born in the parish of Westmeston near Lewis, England and educated at Gordonston School and King's College, Cambridge where he studied history and oriental studies. Shortly before graduation, he was recruited by the Chinese government to teach English in Beijing at the Peking Institute of Languages. His two-year contract ended just as the Cultural Revolution was beginning. From Beijing he went to Princeton University where he completed a Ph.D. in 1970 under James T. C. Liu and Frederick W. Mote. This was later published his studies in Chinese price history. Career. From 1970 to 1974, Wilkinson was lecturer in the history of the Far East at the School of Oriental and African Studies, University of London. However, when he began teaching there he still felt unprepared. He did not know, he recalled many years later, what to tell his graduate students about the Zhou or Shang dynasties about which he felt his knowledge would about fill an eyedropper as a research fellow at Harvard University in 1971. Wilkinson mentioned to John Fairbank, a senior Harvard scholar, that he was gathering notes on Chinese history. Fairbank offered to publish them, and the 1973 research guide appeared in due course. During these years he also translated two books from the Chinese one popular, the other, academic. While on academic study leave in 1974, he was asked by the European Commission to find the building and recruit the local staff for the EU's permanent diplomatic delegation to Japan. Shortly thereafter, he quit academe, joined the External Relations Directorate General of the European Commission and was posted to Tokyo as first secretary during the intensification of EU-Japan trade frictions. In 1980 he published Kakei. In it he examined both sides of the trade frictions coin. Were Japanese successes on U.S. and European markets due to the fact that Westerners were lazy and ignorant about Japanese markets? As many Japanese argued, or was Japan deliberately keeping its markets closed and therefore operating with an unfair advantage? For a brief period in the summer of 1980 the book became the number one non-fiction bestseller in Japan. It was also made into a four-hour TV documentary by TBS. The series was presented by Wilkinson and featured numerous interviews, including with the French anthropologist Claude L. E. Acute V.I. Strauss, Eugene Loderer, chairman of IG Metal, the movie stars Alan Dellen and Keiko Kishi, and many others. It was broadcast in Tokyo on March 9-12, 1980 and in the rest of Japan that April. Goke was also published in new expanded editions in English, Italian, German, Chinese, and French. By 1992 it had sold a total of 250,000 copies. The book was well received not only in Japan but also in Europe and America. This wry history of how each side has caricatured the other serves as an introduction to the topic which dominates relations today, trade. Neither side gets off lightly, wrote the Economist reviewer, the editor of the Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung. Jürgen Eich suggested the book was essential for everyone in economic circles who has any contact with Japan, both well-informed and witty, wrote Claude Levi Strauss. I learned a great deal from it and it gave me food for thought too, James Falios, writing in the New York Review of Books, skipped the economic arguments and while praising Wilkinson's discussion of Japanese and Western images of each other, objected that his approach pushes him toward the bizarre position of implying that the more often foreigners have observed a certain trait about Japan, the more likely it is to be false.
Not true. In 1975 Wilkinson was sent by the European Commission to Beijing to make preparations for and participate in the talks leading to the establishment of EU-China diplomatic relations. Wilkinson later served as head of the China desk in Brussels and took part in many official talks in Beijing with China's most senior leaders. In 1981 he produced the blueprint for the forerunner of the China-Europe International Business School. Between 1982 and 1987 he was DCM in the EU's Bangkok delegation, before becoming a director of the European Commission and his appointment as EU ambassador to China in 1994. Wilkinson served as head of the Southeast Asia and Asia divisions in the Commission. Among his activities at this time was the launch of the $100 million program to provide loans to 170,000 Vietnamese boat people refugees to enable them to start businesses on returning to Vietnam. As ambassador to China Wilkinson proposed and later oversaw the switching of the focus of EU grant aid to China from agricultural projects to all forms of education. During his seven years as ambassador EU grant aid to China increased very substantially. Wilkinson also served as the deputy head under Pascal Lamy of the European Commission negotiating team for China's entry into the World Trade Organization. After taking early retirement from the European Commission in 2001 Wilkinson lectured at Harvard, at Tsinghua University, and at Peking University. He has also been a visiting professor at Chinese Language and Culture University, and at Peking University. He is currently an associate in research at the Fairbank Center, Harvard. His main publications from 1998 have been progressive updatings and expansions of his Manual of Chinese History. Since the publication of the preliminary edition in 1973, some 18,000 copies have been sold making this the best-selling and longest-selling work in the Harvard Yenching monograph series. The most recent edition, Chinese History, a new manual by its size and by its scope far surpasses previous editions. The University of British Columbia historian of China Carla Nappi judged it, in every way, absolutely indispensable to work in Chinese history, Jonathan Mirsky, writing in the New York Review of Books called it an unparalleled collection of Chinese facts and analysis reaching from the earliest recorded times to the late 20th century, and continued. It comprises 14 supremely learned book-length parts in 76 chapters, including entries on language, people, geography, and the environment, on ideas and beliefs, and on technology and science. A mighty book, magnificent books. The People's Comic Book, Red Women's Detachment, Hot on the Trail and Other Chinese Comics, Garden City, New York, Anchor Press, 1973, ISBN 0385005415, The History of Imperial China, A Research Guide, Preliminary Edition, Cambridge, Massachusetts. East Asian Research Center, Harvard University, distributed by Harvard University Press, ISBN 0674396804, Studies in Chinese Price History, New York, Garland, ISBN 0674508661, Su, Ching, Luo Lun, Landlord and Labor in Late Imperial China, Case Studies from Shandong, Harvard University Press, ISBN 0674508661, versus, Tokyo, IDBN 0121039 Chuo Koronja, Japan vs. Europe, A History of Misunderstanding, London, England, New York, Penguin Books, ISBN 0140224696, versus, Tokyo, IDBN 0121039 Chuo Koronsha Seed Books, Japan vs. the West, Image and Reality, London, England, New York, Penguin Books, ISBN 0140126368, 
Tokyo, Chuo Koronsha, ISBN 4120020894, Chinese History, Emanuel, Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Asia Center Distributed by Harvard University Press, ISBN 0674123786, Chinese History, Emanuel, 2nd Edition, Revised and Enlarged, Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Asia Center Distributed by Harvard University Press, ISBN 0674002490. Chinese History. A New Manual, 3rd Edition. Cambridge, Massachusetts. Harvard University Asia Center Distributed by Harvard University Press. ISBN 9780674067158. Chinese History, A New Manual, 4th Edition, Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Asia Center Distributed by Harvard University Press, ISBN 9780674088467, Speeches and Articles Wilkinson has delivered more than 300 speeches on East and Southeast Asian current affairs at UN and other international fora. In addition he has also lectured in many of the world's leading universities. Since 2001 he has preferred to incorporate his research results into his book Chinese History, a new manual rather than publish them separately. A few exceptions are shown below. Selected articles on China. China 20 years from now. Ostasia Tisha für ein Bremeni, v. 100 Jara, 1901 to 2001, 21 to 33. Sources of Chinese tradition. China Review International 8, 93 to 101. Chinese culinary history. China Review International 8. 285 to 302. The number of books published and the size of library collections in China and the West before 1900. Zhongguo Dianji Yuanhua 59. 43 to 47.